welcome back to the channel guys how are you all doing i hope you perfect um it's a very very bright morning as you can see the sun is actually out really hot already it's just it's it's it's, it's not more than like 9 30. i'm not very exact because i don't have a watch of course so guys we are just in the garden and guess what it's harvesting time so guys this is a, a sorghum garden for people who don't know sorghum sorghum is like our staple food this right here we make flour out of this and make bread out of it like we mingle it for food we serve this with any kind of sauce it's just our staple food but though we prefer to mix this in our millet yeah to give it some kind there's there's a test it gives it really really delicious you should try it out if you have never eaten it so this is just how the garden looks like and this is um, uh, the dry one because you first leave it to dry in the garden before you start harvesting so if you're new here <laughs> um, please make sure you subscribe um, let me know what you think about our videos here um, like comment anything 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 in your mind guys so guys let's just go ahead and start doing the work okay let me just go ahead and show you because I had started already from that but I didn't show you so first of all as you can see there is a bit bent what I'm doing is we bend it with this kind of stick here so that it is easy because this is the target we want only this part not the whole stem so when you bend it down it's easy for you to pick the top part to pick this easily without kind of like i don't know how to the standing on your tiptoe like you know so that you can reach it it's easy to reach it when it's down and you actually speed the work so that's what you see right there so you just bend it down for easy I don't know, like I just told it, to make it easy to reach it. So I think we need to continue with our work.
I think you notice those guys are there. I don't know if you're able to see them. <laughs> but they're still pressing the top part of the garden. Meanwhile, me, I start off uh, removing the grains, division of labor. Doesn't it make it go faster? Hmm? Without that, so that's why we're dividing. So when they finish that, they'll come and join me here and continue this. Just to make the work move faster. By the way, if you didn't know, you can also bake cake out of this flour. Hmm? If you want to know how to do that, let me know in the comment section. I'll surely be so glad to share it with you. <laughs> uh, though you have to mix with millet flour. Yeah, so we'll give it a test. But it brings out really a nice test, I can tell you that. And also this can be used for local waraji. It makes local waraji out of this, like local good alcohol. So guys, this is how we harvest sorghum. Let me know if there's any mechanized way of doing this. Because honestly, I've actually never seen it. But any machine that harvests sorghum, I've never seen it. Please let me know if there's any. And how it even operates using what? Power? Engine? What? <laughs> I've never seen any guys because here yeah, most of the actually everything we do hand like we do by hand we don't use machines but uh, maybe anyway there's a machine somewhere if you let me know the comment section so have you learned something today <laughs> have you learned let me know in the comment section what you have learned and what was really strange for you today what was new for you otherwise thank you for watching Allow me to continue harvesting. Bye-bye.